Hi everyone and welcome back. It is Saturday, February 3rd. A lot going on this week, but the good news is that it will be more of an observational week. We have a lot of quantum looping that's happening. A lot of wave octave activation or setting the tone for wave octave activation is what Saturn will be doing, holding something in stasis most definitely. Wave octave. Now, and then we have the quantum looping that is going to happen so there's a lot of intertwinement that's going to happen this week so something is going to be brought to your attention the energies will move slow enough so that it can be brought to your attention because this is about um processes but processes that you've already done your part in because we're talking about what has already happened and that full alignment of how it all wraps up together and what octave it'll be wrapping up in and this tone that it will be set as like that and that's how experience is created and direction is created so this week something is going to be brought to your eyes attention now and you get you're going to feel a bit of respite this week because you're going to feel that you're you're like inhaling that sigh of relief you can sit back you can relax and you can watch it happen and because saturn moves in slow motion energy it will be easier for you to watch it now there could be those things where, because saturn is with it being the great teacher it is those details with saturn and it brings your attention brings your awareness of how things pan out that are happening in other quantum fields and how it creates your reality like that and how you can associate that with alignment in reality quotation marks experience being created regarding you and your life specifically or whatever the um whatever it is the situation at, at hand is now so there could also be a doubling up because saturn works in pairs of eight saturn well saturn works in the numerical sequence of eight like that so we talk about eight tenths of something so how that's going to pan out with your experience saturn will bring that to your attention now eight tenths with saturn it could mean a multitude of things we talk about mathematical formulas you're talking about how it connects itself with the ethers and what's happening how it connects itself, it connects itself with a multitude of quantum fields is what's happening there how those quantum fields connect with you in earth and the third dimension state of consciousness and the experience quotation marks that you're having that you call your reality like that so that's how saturn functions and it'll most definitely be brought to your attention so you have to just sit back and relax and watch things unfold so it'll be a some of you it could be a very reciprocatory um week things can manifest without you being having had realized they've manifested is because it's like when when everything fits together you you because you, uh, you sometimes you don't know what i'll is gonna fit but Saturn because it moves so slow it shows you all the pieces of the formula of what is happening so when it all fits together or the significant amount of it fits together or you know that okay things are fitting together it could be things that these things can now just fall into place manifest it all of a sudden certain things like that there could be um there could be things that were going this way that could have been like the long way of a process but now there and that that was an ingredient that played a purpose everything is an instead of use of straps like that now because it pulls from experience past that has already happened in order to create what you call the here and now present which is future future which is present so you take straps from past like straps from experience octave like that the <laughs> transformation transmutation is what sound is doing is recycling now so it 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 takes certain stress so every aspect of your experience has something to do with something else and then it puts it on a um electromagnetic octave regarding the experiences that you'll have in the future like that it'll be octave from what it was in the past but the past it comes from a multitude of past past life past um time space um continuums because Saturn is continuous continuous energy like that and it creates what you call the here and now like that or what could be called the here and now a now experience present moment experience like that so and because the type of energy that Saturn is slow moving um very most definitely 3d related with your experience playing out but you're also connected to other external quantum fields time spaces where you're connected to those experiences also now so saturn takes from those 
and what is transmuted in whatever consciousness is the octave is calculated and raised from that and set on a timeline that corresponds with where your experience will play out at. Now let's talk about the what the 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 motor of where experience comes from, like that. That it, and, and you can look at the source of all experience. That would be the greatest energetic of the cosmos. But then also you have a if you talk about your highest self, you will have a motive um motor also connected to that. Now that octave, because this will be a reciprocal week for you all, that octave, uh, a high octave of that in, in which you also sit in experience and in observation in the cosmos is going to also connect with this quantum looping where electromagnetic wave pump pulse is connected to the pulse of which things are set on so that they can be connected with energy and experience and you give it energy to your experience your experience give it energy to you so it would be a very observational week because it's observation because saturn brings everything to your attention like that and you walk tribe you will be looking and, and, and be aware of it like that and it saturn is going to work in eights this week eights so it would be that it could be um work, work it could be in it's not going to be in pairs of four with Saturn. It's going to be in eights like that of its spirits because it, the eight number eight is continuum, is transformation, and things like that. And the way that Saturn is going to be functioning because we are going to be um, most definitely in the quantum loop energy and playing around with that. And, and also sitting back and, and watching it as it associates itself with our earthly experience. Okay, everyone, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.